What is Best in Life. Today we join uh, Sheikha Landon II, Sheikha Landon the Cruel. Uh, he is just back from earning the achievement to Mecca, where he went on a Hajj. He is now falsely confessing the faith of Islam so that the uh, evil caliph does not strip him of these titles that he's so painfully earning back. Uh, realm peace is still prevailing, so I cannot go to war inside the realm, and I believe I have lost the weak claim on Karakum because probably the child is too old, and uh, my chancellor is trying to earn a claim on Bajanid, the uh, territory outside of the Abbasid Empire, and then I will try to uh, get this territory down south, the Zabuli revolt, revolt, as it is another Zoroastrian holy site. And uh, it looks like I don't have as many claims on my ex-territories as I believed I had, so it's going to take longer than I thought to uh, reclaim my empire. Uh, I now have a decadence of 25%, although my monthly decadence gain is zero, which is good. And uh, we'll dive into it here with a Luce, uh, Lucifer's own event. After a lengthy discussion about the logistics of an upcoming ritual, my brother in darkness, Vishtab, stood up abruptly, a depraved grin splitting his face. Well, I'm bored. Let's head down to the town and have some fun with the peasants. About time, we'll bring my new poisons. And we'll get the timer going. Uh, with nondescript common clothes, Vishtab and I slowly make our way to town in amicable silence as we pass by a neatly kept garden in front of a cozy looking house i'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion uh it's time to do shaitan's work it's not ariman's anymore it's now shaitan the father of the family died last finally we constructed an idol of pythias from the dismembered bodies burned it all no one was no and for 200 dark power Leaving it would please Shaitan more, and we'll become good friends. And the national tax modifier, plus 20%. Uh, rumors are running rife, and it won't take much for the whole of Quivir to erupt into open rebellion. Ignorant scum, Ahura Mazda will not save them. Uh, I have enough of an army to put them down, even though my personal wealth is declining fast. And I need to uh, go to war to build it back up again. And it looks like Mulhalabid has managed to score an extra territory off of the Abbasids. The Manichaean faith triumphant. The adherents of the Zoroastrian faith have steadily dwindled to the point where the Manichaean believers are the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Zoroastrian faith to a de facto heresy. All former Zoroastrian holy orders are now Manichaean. Um, so am I now, now I have joined the Manichaean heresy as my Zoroastrian secret faith. So that is, uh, awkward. And the Jaws Liberation Revolt. Oh, there's an army of 4,000. Oshi's oh, host. But they're not Jaws Liberation Revolt. And I'll lay low. But I guess they're from the satrapy of Jaws. I don't think they're actually coming after me. I hope not anyway. They're trying to uh, liberate Karakum. And I guess the realm peace has ended. So now, is there anywhere... Okay, this is... Kazwin. Can I declare war? Will it declare war on a character? Conquest of Kazwin. While attacking a fellow Sunni Muslim will lose two piety a month. All right, how many troops does he have? He has 723. Uh, all right, can I get Tabaristan? He can raise a thousand troops. Declare war. Claim Tabaristan. Claim it for my cousin, Jaws Jingquain. Who's Jaws Jingquain? Uh, he's a Jaws. He's the hand Jaws. Uh, but I will, sure, I'll claim it on his behalf. Uh, he can raise a thousand troops. Declare war. 
claim to bar stand, I'll lose to piety, I'll lay low, I'll get my army in there. And I guess as a Muslim, I now have access to more Casas bellies. And he's trying to invade my territory. So I'll make short work of his army. I didn't quite stack wipe him, but I came close. Oh, I should get some characters in charge of this army. Jabril. And Glitterhoof can be one of my generals. And now we're sieging him down relatively quickly at 10% every 12 days. Decadent relatives. A land in Elg, I'll ask him to straighten up. My decadent son, a land in Elg, refuses to change his sinful ways. I can declare him a Kafir, which will give me a reason to imprison the degenerate. And unless there is another way to get through to him, time to get unconventional due to my intrigue skill. Arrange for some nasty nighttime theatrics to scare a land in Elg in his room. Very well. The little nightmare I staged seemed to have worked on my decadent son, a land in Elg, who was scared witless and has promised to renounce his shameful hedonism. Good, house a land in Jaws must stay pure. He straightened up. Monthly decadence gain. Uh, zero. So come on, let's get this party over with. Child lacking a focus. My grandson. Um, sign guardian. He's already betrothed. I express my views on the whole religion and Allah thing a bit too loud and got into trouble with an Iman because of it. Allah is dead. Lose 15 piety. Yes, I suppose that doesn't go over so well in Arabia or Iran. Uh, peace be with you. I uh, accept your suggestion that my grandson is now married. That's great. Hopefully he'll be producing more little Jawses. And this is a regular marriage, unfortunately. Oh, but it's my grandson Jaws, so my house is growing. I will lay low. Oh no, the army is of the Liberation Revolt has moved into my sheikdom. That's no good. Hopefully they don't destroy my trading post and all that sort of stuff. They slay another member of Lucifer's own. Come on, yes, there we go. Abdullah of the Abbasid Empire, go put down that Jaws Liberation Revolt. Well, they got yet another. Yes, he is, too, with his army of 10,000. And there's another 6,000 Liberation Revolters coming right behind him. So that's 70% war score on... And I control to Baristan so it will grow. What else does this guy own, the Sheik? Oh, way over here. Does he own anything closer than to Baristan? Sheikdom of Man. Sheikdom of Tabaristan. The Miaphysite faith. The Wali of Arar. Who's this guy? Looks like the uh, Jaws Revolt fought off the Caliph. Oh, okay, I got a 100% war score. Take it while I can. And I won, and I have now 
I will lay low again. She collided and the crew will fulfill the ambition to become exalted amongst men. Now I think I can take over this title. Um, cannot usurp the sole primary title of a ruler of a, another religion who still holds titles within it. Who? Uh, Tabaristan, Emer Jaws, my cousin. Let's look at the duchies. This is me. This is me. This is my cousin. And this is me. I hold all of Tabaristan. It seems as though Caliph Misra has found an opportunity to send a secret guild of elite murderers to infiltrate the hiding place of the cowardly Wali Mubarak of Pella and kill him. Excellent, sort of. Except that it's kind of frightening. Sheikh de Mukovir, Emirate of Tabaristan. I hold all of these. How can I not usurp? My kinsman, heir to the Emirate of Tabaristan. Well, it looks like it's my kinsman. Oh, it's my cousin. My cousin is the Emir. Ugh. Uh, it seems the Assassin's Knife failed to find Wali Mubarak of Pella. The instigators of the plot were not revealed, however. Songs of Anguish. My knights are plagued by terrible nightmares fe uh, featuring the vile Mark word, my rival brother in darkness. He howls and roars at me to the tune of infernal bagpipes while Leviathan looks on, bellowing with laughter. I am sure Shaitan is sending me these dreams for a reason. I must prove myself worthy or be discarded as a weakling, such as the way of Lucifer's own. I'll invite him over for some fun and then slay him. Good, the Sultan. And I slay... Markward is slain just recreationally because it's what I do and the Jaws Liberation Revolt is going to hopefully be defeated this time by the Sultan's army or the Caliph's army it's getting a good drubbing at least all right so Tabaristan is now under control of my cousin uh Quivir, Kazwin, he can muster, declare war, conquest of Kazwin. Uh, we Muslims believe in God and that which has been bestowed from upon high, high upon us and upon Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and their descendants and that which has been vouchsafed to Moses and Jesus and all the prophets by their sustainer. We make no distinction between any of them and it is unto him we surrender ourselves. We must not condemn the Jews and Christians for the errors. Somehow I've gained the trait sympathy for Judaism and sympathy for Christians. Religious same trade opinion plus five. Religious same trade opinion plus five. Unfortunately I don't have that many uh I have a monthly balance of negative 11. I guess maybe there was some damage to the trade post of Gurgan during its occupation. A son was born. And... Oh no, he's a... Okay. May their gods protect them. Heritage. Okay, so we'll assign heritage to him, and then I'll arrange for his guardian to be a Zoroastrian. Zoroastrian uh, Persian. Barbak. My court a man. Uh... My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes have met with resistance, these troublesome peasants. And I am sieging Kazwin, and he is sieging me at the same time. Hopefully I'll win, and I'm being a werewolf again. I am, I am a cannibalistic gay werewolf. It's hard to make a living in these harsh times with so many narrow minds turned against us. All right, so I've got partially sieged. Now we'll get over and try to rescue my territory from being besieged. That's 
taken the wind out of his sails and gained me 41% war score. Now I'll continue down the siege of Kazwin. And my decadence gain is zero. I have 25.7 decadence, which is reducing my Demesne income by a tiny bit. And my income is going down by 10 a month. So he's losing 38% morale every 12 days. That was a relatively quick victory. With Kazwin, hopefully my monthly income will go up so that I don't lose so much as 10 a month. That's too much for me to lose. I have 94% war score. That's 100% war score. And I have won back another trading post, Kazwin. And how is that doing my monthly income? I'm still, I only gained one gold coin, it says, for all of that. Now let's go for the Duchy, Duchy of Galan. This is the Emperor of Galan. He was the guy I just defeated, I think. And maybe not. Oh, yes, I have a peace treaty with them now. So, to, uh, where is the other trading post? Yes, it's Tabriz, but I think the Caliph holds it. Yes, darn it. The Caliph holds the trading post. So where is the holy site? Oh, I don't... These are the Muslim holy sites. I don't have the... Or is it? Yeah, this is Baghdad. Uh, I don't think the map will show where the... It was Kurdistan. It doesn't say whether it's a holy site for the Zoroastrians or not. A son was born, a landon. And I will get heritage. And I will appoint a guardian that is Persian, Zoroastrian. Uh, a landon might become a Zoroastrian faithful. Let's hope so. And is there anyone good he can be betrothed to. She is strong. And decadent relatives. Oh no, Alandon has become decadent again and I can't straighten him up. I've decided to accept your suggestion of betrothal between Alandon and Shamin. Uh, invite to plot to kill Empress Salja of the Abbasid Empire. To the raffish poet land in peace be with you i've decided to grant you the emirate of tabaristan in recognition of your service and your nobility of spirit that's fantastic now i'm the emir i will lay low as a member of lucifer's own and i will back a plot to kill the and commander of tabaristan and yeah i can't try to correct him i can only try to correct him once and then i put on that morality play at night to threaten them. So where else can I try to conquer? Uh, uh oh, message about assigned guardian. Uh, my granddaughter, assign her as a Bedouin Sunni. Yes, I'll just accept a granddaughter as she's just one of many. Hopefully most of my family will remain. Uh, become king of moose jaws become a counselor become the king of moose jaws assign guardian oh he's no you can't get my 
grandson. I'll decline. I don't want you to become guardian of my children. That'll anger him, but what can I do about it? Uh, realms. Court of man, Babak bursts into your chambers, flanked by several Safis dragging Salave Kazbek with them in chains. My Emir, I've procured irrefutable evidence that this woman consorts with Purins true. What shall be done with her? Burn the apostate, throw the uh, apostate in the dungeon, giving me monthly piety, negative 50. Bring out the branding iron, negative 50. Lose 10 piety. And uh, what is this? What harm could it do? Emir Landon, this opinion of Salovey changes by negative 100 for 10 years. Uh, who is she? She's my daughter-in-law. Uh, but she hates me. Opinion of a Landon. Negative 100. Ah, oh, burner. There we go. And my son can get a new wife. Oh, uh, Yakata, Princess of the Arabian Empire. Princess of Abyssinia. Princess of Yemen. Let's go for a Princess of the Arabian Empire. That's probably a better marriage anyway. And the Caliph is accepted, so I am married into the royal family. Invite to plot. Uh, yes, I'll accept an invitation to plot. Uh, this sure, Zan. Who is this guy, the Sheik? He can only raise 174 troops. Why can't I declare war? I have no valid causes belly. What about conquest? And Galean? I won't be able to declare war because he's not independent. And his caliph is can raise 12,000 troops and is the caliph of Arabia. That's terrible. Now, Tabriz is the Silk Road trading post, but it's held by the frickin' caliph. Kurdistan air to the mosque of uh, news from China when the Tang Empire sent their armies to occupy territory in Shergadov. Few expected that the war would eventually end in a stalemate. Chinese troops are unexpectedly returning home while the administration of the High Chief are working tirelessly to calm the people of Shergadov, still shaken by war. Not all who face off against the dragon live to tell the tale. So how many troops can this guy raise? Sheik of Kurdistan. Declare, I don't have a valid causes belly. Um, no, I won't. I'll resist my follow imp uh, impulses to torture my relative. Why do I get conquest causes belly on some, but not others? And he is a former one of my territories. What about Shah Rezor? I can declare war on him, claim Shah Rezor for my son. Uh, let me just check his troop strength, it's tiny. Claim Shah Rezor. There we go. And who are they? They're a host. Oh, and they're raiding Gurgan, darn it. I will lay low. Come on, don't let them raid Gurgan. I need Gurgan. Oh, he left right through. Okay. Hopefully the Caliph will put down that host. Arrange marriage. We propose that uh, Tigran and Alandon and Alandon marry. I accept. arrive December 21st. He will arrive December 28th. I'll catch him. And I stack wiped him. Why am I not besieging him? Sherazur.
declare war. Must be a liege. Must be our liege or a vassal of our liege. All right, the Emir of Kurdistan. We have no units in enemy countries where we lack holdings. No, I'm not going to torture uh, this girl. I hope to unholy impregnate her. News from China. Emperor Lai, the Chinese son of heaven, has died and been succeeded by Lai Zhangzong. Like his predecessor, the new emperor is known to believe in an open China. Apparently, he takes a special interest in Arabic cultures, but frowns on concubines. My sister in darkness was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. She is in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy. I will do so. There was a loud midget ordering me and Jazeera into various interesting positions. I never realized I liked women that way. I lose the trait homosexual and fall in love with Jahira, and I gain the trait lustful even though I'm a eunuch. That's interesting. The lustful now heterosexual eunuch. Well, I guess I prayed to the devil for the gay to be taken away, and I guess it's all in who you pray to. Um... And my legalism. Actually, I'm getting some points now, even though I'm not a sultan. Um, I won't torture my daughter or my kinswoman. I tend to let female thieves and bandits get away with lighter sentences than men. I might condemn a woman to a few months in prison while a man might get one of his hands chopped off. It's how it should be. My courtier, I guess that's not really a choice. Delbar seems upset with my arbitrary uh, measures. Okay, now can I share Azur and Kurdis Kurdistan, Emer of Kurdistan, declare war? Claim Sherazur. Reports have reached us that raiders are being harassed by uh, travelers are being harassed by raiders in my lands of Gurgan. Set my marshal to hunt them down. Okay, now I'm back at war, I believe, with Kurzan. A message about invite to plot. Uh, the coward Mo Morad deemed it too dangerous to interfere with the caravan raiders and refused to carry out my orders. I could have him arrested for this. However, that would not solve the problem of the merchants being attacked in my trade routes. Uh, I need to deal with the unruly marshal. Who is this guy? Is he anyone useful? He is a Persian Manichaean. Uh, he's not that great. He has a high intrigue power. Um, organized soldiers. I don't have the money to spend right now. Uh, I'll have to root out the raiders myself. And I'm still losing two gold a month. Uh, enter the camp and approach the leader. Wait until midnight and sneak up in the guards. Uh, after subduing the guards on watch, we enter the leader's tent. While he's fast asleep, I draw my blade, placing it with great precision against his throat. Suddenly, his eyes flicker open, and his gaze wanders the tent with dazed urgency. I realize that if I do not act quickly, he may well, very well draw attention to us. Cruel. Um, slit his throat and f fight our way out. 80% chance Emir Alain and the Cruel dies. Uh, threaten him to leave my land. And I have other plans for that woman. My Demesne size is 5 and 3, and my werewolfness is coming back, and I run through the hills. I don't remember it. Uh oh, I've got a malaise. Um, I have cancer, just a second. Let me see if I can do a dark healing. Dark healing, 300 dark power. Though I may suffer for now, no earthly ailment is beyond the power of Iblis. I'm preparing a great ritual to cleanse my body and become like new. Iblis may take, Iblis, Iblis may give. My miracle, my sword has returned to me. If this is not proof of the power of Iblis, I do not know what is. I lose the trait eunuch. All will be as Iblis desires. 
and I get exhausted from demonic healing to alleviate your pain, uh, Fishi lit three candles and had you join hands with him. After a moment of silence, he had you repeat some words after him in a language you did not understand. I'm so glad I hired she. Now let me see if I can actually have kids again. Um, I'm going. He's betrothed. The woman in the relative of mine in jail um, prisoners how old is she she's 15 just one more year Parvin um, I could eat her I could sacrifice her to Iblis tainted touch uh, no I don't want to tainted touch her I can't attempt demonic possession, as I did that already at once. Um, I guess in a year, to claim poetry, I can punish her by making terrible poems to her. Uh, can I give her a gift? I'll give her 15 gold. That'll increase her opinion of me by 18. Okay, so that's one potential woman. Now... Uh, all right, uh, I guess we'll end the episode there. I uh, am trying to perv and marry my 15-year-old uh, imprisoned relative as I, through the power of the devil, have regained M uh, my uh, sword, as it's called, and am no longer a eunuch. I'm not sure if I still have cancer, though. I have a malaise, uh, stressed, lunatic, possessed, uh, lustful, but no cancer as far as I can make out. Exhausted from demonic healing, but I had a successful, uh, somewhat successful uh, minor healing treatment. I'm a known murderer. Uh, satiric blessing, fertility plus 25%, sex appeal plus 10%, uh, uh, which might make a difference. So I could start having some more kids. But uh, that's all something for next episode. I did win back, I think, Kazwin this episode. So I conquered one more territory and one more trading post on the Silk Post on the uh, Silk Road. So if you enjoyed this episode, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll receive notifications of my other videos. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.